What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to go over the gear I carry inside my extended hiking bag. Most of the gear I carry inside this bag is the same gear I carry inside my everyday carry bag. Make sure to check out that video. So first off about the bag, it was pretty cheap and inexpensive. I got it at Walmart. It's by Outdoor Products. It was around $20. It's empty at the moment because I have all the gear laid out over here. But it's definitely under 10 pounds with all the gear inside it. <clears throat> On the side I have a larger water bottle. Quite larger than the one I have in my everyday carry bag. It's by Coleman. Not sure how many ounces it holds. But anyway... The bag has three compartments, a large compartment, slightly large in the front, a very small po pocket on the top, and the largest main comp compartment in the back. The straps are adjustable on the bottom, and attached to one here I just have a simple pocket knife by Ozark Trail. Sorry about the background noise, by the way. So, I have all the gear laid out here into its different categories. I have shelter over here. I've got first aid, fire making, cutting tools, cooking, cordage, fishing, and then just general other stuff that couldn't be put in a category. So let's start off with the cooking. Like I said earlier, the water bottle already covered that. I have a spoon spork with a knife. It's by the brand Light My Fire. And once again, some aluminum foil. I also carry this in my everyday carry bag over there. This is the same cooking cup by Gerber Bear Grills, once again in my everyday carry bag. The reason I have some of the same gear in my extended hiking bag and the everyday carry bag is just to keep it simple um, and organized. And then to save me some time when I'm trying to start a fire, so I don't have to start a fire, I just have a small grill by Coleman so that I can boil water quickly and easily. So that's everything I have for cooking. So up next here for cordage, you'll see I have the same rope once again I have in my everyday carry bag over there. And then I have some webbing and I use this webbing to hang up my hammock, which I'll get to in a minute. So then for cutting tools, I have the Gerber Clutch multi-tool. It has a nail file, a knife bottle opener, can opener, it's even got tweezers on it, and I just have a little paracord keychain attached to it, Then I have a Swiss Army knife, um, corkscrew, a few knives, a saw, file, pair of scissors, magnifying glass, bottle, bottle opener, can opener, and a variety of screwdrivers another small pocket knife and my fixed blade knife. I did a review on this as well. Make sure to check that video out. So then the first aid, I already covered this in my first video. I'll just go through it quickly. A variety of bandages, antibiotic ointment, um, stereo strips, butterfly bandages, um, more antibiotic ointment, chapstick, and gauze. Then quickly fire. 
I've got matches which I use to light the grill. Another Bic lighter. A ferris rod. This one is by Gerber Bear Grills. This one comes with its own striker. And it also has a bottle opener on it. This is just another ferris rod. Uh, that most of it broke off, but I just have it in here just in case. Chapstick, I covered the uses for this in my first video as well. And then a butane lighter. It's kind of sunny, I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, it has a knife on it as well. A bottle opener and a corkscrew. And I just have it in this small pouch, which used to be a wallet, that I just used to store that in. So, we'll move on to shelter here. This really isn't shelter, but it's just a flannel shirt, in case I get cold. Then, I have a small, lightweight hiking sleeping bag by Ozark Trail. It says it keeps you warm for up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the mummy style. I'll just show you it quickly. There it is. And then I have this small lightweight tarp. 5 by 7 I just tied some inner strands of paracord to the corners. Here it is. And then the hammock. I don't really sleep with this stuff. I have a few times and it works, but mainly I'll just set it up to sit in or relax in. The hammock is by ENO. Uh, the double nest hammock. It says it's rated for up to 400 pounds. I'm not really sure if it is. It probably is though, but I just, I don't want to break it. Here it is. Here's the carabiners on the end. So, moving on to this stuff here. Once again, I have another pair of gloves, like I do in my everyday carry bag. This is a small compass. Never really need to use it. It's still good to have, just in case. Then I just have a Sharpie. Another flashlight. This one is by Life Gear. It has a light, of course. It has it. Can't really see that, but it has a red light as well as a strobe. And lastly, I have a small fishing kit. Inside of it, I have a bobber, um, a small spool of line, a variety of hooks, sinkers, and swivels. A very small net, um, then an assortment of lures here, and this is a fly that I actually made with paracord. I saw this, I got this idea from the channel Intense Angler, he's another YouTuber. Um, I might make a video on how to do this, but I got this idea from Intense Angler. So make sure to check him out. I really never use this fishing kit, but, you know, just to have it. So that's pretty much all the gear I carry inside my larger extended hiking bag. Make sure to subscribe, guys, and also check out the channel Intense Angler. I'm not trying to steal his idea for this lore. 
thanks for watching guys make sure to subscribe and also check out the video for my everyday carry bag see you next time